All right, man, I got the tickets. Are you ready? Uh, uh, Bodie, what? what is that? Check it out, Larry. Behold, the Dune popcorn bucket. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? Ugh, oh, come on, man, seriously? I mean, I mean, look at that thing. It looks ridiculous. Oh, come on, Larry. It's not just any popcorn bucket. It's a symbol of sci-fi cinematic greatness. Plus, it's shaped like a giant sandworm. How awesome is that? Oh, I think it's shaped like something, but it's not a sandworm. Do you not realize what you look like carrying that thing around? And it's honestly just creepy, man. Plus, functionally, it's just not a good way to eat popcorn. It's not just about functionality, Larry. It's about making a statement. And this statement says, I am proud to support other sci-fi epics. Oh yeah, because nothing screams epic like sticking your hand into a dirty, greasy, flappy hole. A hole that's probably had multiple dirty hands or God knows what else inside of it. Wait, what? Oh, uh, wait, uh, nothing. I mean, forget what I said. You just don't appreciate the finer things in life, Larry. This bucket is a collector's item. One day, it'll be worth a fortune. Yeah, uh, maybe in a galaxy far, far away, but for now, it's just a glorified piece of plastic. You may not understand the glory of the Dune popcorn bucket, but that won't stop me from enjoying every delicious kernel of popcorn. Fine, suit yourself, Bodie. But don't come crying to me when that bucket's wanting a bigger commitment and it says it's a few days late on its, well, you know. I feel like you're implying something, but I don't know what it is. Well, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, do you seriously not see it? There is a good reason why that thing has been joked about all over the late night talk shows. See what? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look, I don't want to ruin it for you, okay? I just still can't believe that you went up and bought that thing. I can only imagine what the people were thinking of you behind the concession stand when you walked up to them with a straight face and said, I'd like to buy the Doom popcorn bucket, please. <laughs> it's probably the dumbest thing I've ever seen you do. Oh, I didn't buy this at the concession stand. They're all sold out, so I got mine on eBay. You what? Hey, only cost me 60 credits. So you're telling me that you went online and paid 60 credits for the Dune popcorn bucket from a completely random stranger in the galaxy who ended up doing God knows what to that bucket, then proceeded to bring that bucket into this theater, had it filled with popcorn, and are now proceeding to eat set popcorn from this used Dune popcorn bucket. Don't know why you had to say it that way, but yes, that is the order of events that occurred. Please tell me you at least washed it. The, the seller said it was only slightly used. That doesn't answer my question, Bodie. So I'm gonna assume that's a no. I don't even know why I agreed to come see this movie with you now. Come on, Larry, there's so much buzz about it. We gotta see it at least once, right? Not that it needs to be said because I think the Stormtrooper armor gives it away, but we're in Star Wars, so you gotta support the home team, you know? There's nothing wrong with checking out another sci-fi universe. Besides, it's been highly debated that Star Wars heavily inspired from Dune. Hey, that's only partly true. Come on, Larry, think about it. Doesn't the story sound a little familiar about a young man who lives on a desert planet where moisture is pretty hard to come by, where you also have to worry about giant sandworms eating you whole, and the young hero seems to be pretty special, where some people think he's the chosen one from an old prophecy, where he becomes one of the main figures in a multi-planet war against some fascist bad guys led by a crippling bad guy who can only be held alive through machines? And don't forget the evil emperor who is actually pulling the strings in the background. There's even some who have magical mind control powers who belong to an old religious organization and even the main hero exhibits some of these powers as well, while also having a special psychic connection to his sister. His mother is from royalty, while also having a good friend who is a bit of a renegade. Then there's the spice, which is highly valuable and considered a very powerful drug. Then finally, the main hero finds out he is the descendant of the half-robot leader from earlier eventually leading a group of rebels to attack the fascist bad guys in the end. Sound a little familiar? <laughs> it kind of feels like you're splitting hairs there, Bodie. Besides, at least we never made anything more embarrassing than that popcorn bucket. Oh no. Remember this little guy from that Pizza Hut promo? Oh no! Oops. I, 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 don't, re I don't recall. No, uh, uh, it doesn't uh, seem familiar to me in any way. It doesn't matter though, because I have the coolest and most convenient popcorn carrier around. Oh yeah? 
What's that? Oh, dang! Yep. <sighs> they don't call us bucket heads for nothing. Now, come on, let's go check out this movie. I don't think, uh, don't think I've ever really seen your real face. I'm surprised you actually have a...